So I have this uh, C drive that I want to turn the bit locker on, but when I go try to do that, I get this error message. And basically what it's saying is that TPM is not enabled or not found. So some of the older motherboards you may not have it, but if you have like mine, B450 and Ryzen 2 2700X, so I know there is one. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go enable it in the uh, from the BIOS. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So I'm restarting my computer, and once it come up, I forgot which key I'm supposed to hit. Let's see. <laughs> I'll try Dell. Let's pause. Dell or F2. Okay, so it's not that fast. Maybe it worked. Yep, it was Dell. So for that, let's go to advanced. So, uh, uh, where is the system? Let's find out. I'm gonna pause the video here, find out where it is. Don't. All right, so I found it. You can see it's under perif peripherals right here and there it is it says trusting trusted computing I'm gonna go into it and see what the option looks like and disable blocks it security device port enable and disable blocks it let's see I'm gonna try to enable it maybe I do have the security device port uh, but blocks it that I don't have enabled. So I'm gonna enable it. I'm gonna exit out of here by going to save. Let's do the yes. And let Windows boot. So enabling that option is giving me this prompt. I am not sure what it is. And I think it has nothing to do with the uh, like the option that we enable it has nothing to do with TPM uh, for the purpose of uh, learning let's press F10 and continue all right so my I have my desktop back I have opened the C drive it's still you can see it's still loading uh, let's try enabling BitLocker now and it did not work Mm. Uh, so I, I need to dig a little bit more let's find out pausing the video now all right so I kept digging I can't find anything that indicates uh, that I am uh, there's any other option in the bias uh, there is none I can't find anything and it's still not gonna turn on bit locker i'm getting that error i will continue to dig what it is let's find if it's the windows drive can we okay the other one we can so that is interesting i will use a password to unlock drive use a smart card is a different thing like you have to insert the card some keyboards have a built-in port some as simply um, that uh, it's a USB you plug in the USB and go from there um, normally you have to touch it as well like uh, it's pressure sensor in there that uh, activates that smart card let's see if we give it a password something So it's been saved. Save to a file next. Encrypt used space only, like whatever is being used, it will encrypt everything or the inter uh, everything that's stored or encrypt the whole drive. Let's go with the whole drive. 
let's go and start encryption and you can see I have that message popped up right there it's in progress and it's being encrypted at the moment let's pause the video here again so just to give you an idea you can see it's very slow because actually it's a hard disk and you can see it's uh, the ion hard disk is 97 percent so it's gonna take a long while all right so that's how you enable the bitlocker encryption and how to enforce it that's another story i am gonna see if i can cancel out of it or no maybe not i don't think so now i have to wait for it to finish all right so let's wrap this video here once it's done we'll go and find how to how do we go about uh, enabling it or enforcing it All right, have a good one.